Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this box, I probably have one of the most underestimated tools out there. If you don't have this tool in your life right now, your life is just an unorganized mess. You're always gonna be looking for your pencil, your tape measure, your knife, your hammer, your screwdriver. As a matter of fact, this tool is so important that it will save you from some embarrassing moments in your life, like getting caught with your pants down. Now that's enough talk about how awesome this tool is. Let's head over to the workbench, open up this box and see what it is. Now you're probably saying, shut up Wes, show us what it is. And if you haven't clicked out of this video yet, I am going to show you right now. Ah! I should bring the camera around so you guys can see this. All right, so this is what it is. It is a belt from Core Essentials. Now, before you click out of this video, I'm gonna show you why this belt is so special. But to start, in the box, you're gonna get instructions on how to size your belt. And you have the belt itself and the buckle. You have a little Allen key to help assemble it. And you have this cool little um, hook to hang it up in your closet. Now this belt is made for some really large people and for some really small people. So it is made for a, from a 28 inch size waist all the way up to a, a 54 inch waist. I believe mine is somewhere around 34. They give you these cool little markings in here so that you can tell where you need to cut it. And the direction says to wrap it around your waist, use it to measure that, and then add four inches, and that's where you make your cut. So I'm not 100% sure on where to cut it. I wrapped it around my waist like the directions say, and I came to a 32. And then it says to add four inches, so I'll make it a 36. But my pants size I wear is a 34. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go 34 plus four is 38. So I'm gonna make my cut there. I'm gonna attach the buckle, try it on, and then if that doesn't work, then I'll trim it down to size. So I'm just gonna use an Ulfa knife and a square to make this cut. And let's just see how it cuts. Now that you have it cut, you wanna to want to add your buckle to it. And first you need to back off these little screws here with the provided Allen key and just slide it in and flip that lever over and just tighten up the screws. That is pretty simple. Okay, it says to tighten the screws down till it's flush. So it's gotta go pretty tight. Now what makes this belt different from others is this belt system. And it kind of works like a zip tie. It's easily adjustable. And then you just pull this lever up and it comes right off. It is so slick. And it doesn't matter, like, uh, you know, throughout the day, you know, you have lunch, too much to eat. Well, you just press that lever, loosen her off a bit, or say if you find that your pants are starting to sag down, just get it a little more clicks to snug them up. It's that easy. There's no more fumbling around, having to add extra holes to, you know, your typical leather belt. Now this belt is no joke. It's got a really sturdy buckle on it, and it's really thick. I measured it and it came out to about 3 16ths of an inch. And because I had to cut the belt, you get to see the inside of this and it's actually really neat. So you can see there's a few different layers. On top and bottom, they have some type of synthetic material. So then they have what they call as a super fiber inner layer. And then they have what they call is a reinforced power core center. In this belt, they say it will hold up to 500 pounds. So I have no doubt that this belt will hold 500 pounds. But my question is, will this buckle take the weight of 500 pounds? So I watched a video over on Wrangler Star's channel and he actually did a test and he put this around his generator, which was 250 pounds with a full tank of fuel. That's what he said. And he put it on his forklift and he lifted it up. No problem. So that's only 250 pounds. So then he climbed on top of the generator and did a little bounce on it and it withheld it. He took the belt off and he tested it and it was fine. It still worked just as normal. So I have full confidence in this belt. So Core Essentials, they advertise this belt as a gun belt for your EDC, your everyday carry. I live in Canada, which is a safe country, and we don't need to carry guns to protect ourselves. But what I do need a belt for, obviously, other than holding up my pants, 
to save some embarrassment, I need it to hold my tool pouch that I carry with me every day. And what it is, it's a knife pouch. Let me get it for you. So this is my knife pouch. I'm a flooring installer, as some of you might know. So I have a variety of different knives that I need on hand, close by, and I wear them on my belt, like this. These pouches, they really put a good toll on your belt from taking it on and off every day. And this is a really heavy duty belt, which I have no doubts will withstand my tool pouch. If you wanna get one of these belts for yourself, head over to Core Essentials website, the link will be down in the description, and use the coupon code WESTHAMSTER10 at the checkout to get 10% off of your next purchase. So that is it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're new to my channel, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you never miss when I upload a new video. And like always, we'll see you in the next one.